In this demo, we're going to show you Lightbend Fast Data Platform plus IBM DB2 Event Store plus IBM DSX Local. IBM and Lightbend simplify fast data and machine learning. So there's three components to this demo. Uh, the first component is the Lightbend Fast Data Platform. So if you're not familiar with Lightbend Fast Data Platform, think about what application developers need to do to write event-driven applications. So this is all around incorporating microservices and a whole bunch of open source components together to make a, a, a unified platform that you can give to application developers to write and build event-driven applications. IBM DB2 Event Store is a new type of database. Uh, it's combining Spark with some of our IBM technology to create a very fast and scalable persistence la layer uh, that goes very well with the Lightbend Fast Data Platform. And DSX Local is the tool made for data scientists, uh, which makes it easy for all data scientists to collaborate and build and essentially work with machine learning models. So let me give you a couple of highlights of what you're going to see in the demo today. So uh, with respect to DSX Local, think about the data scientist that's going to be building and exporting machine learning models. Uh, in the Lightbend Fast Data platform, we're going to be taking those machine learning models and use that as part of the streaming analytics pipeline. Uh, underneath all of this, you need a database. And so DB2 Event Store is the logical choice because it is really the only database that can keep up with all of the large amounts of data that are coming in from the Lightbend Fast Data Platform and being served by these machine learning models. Uh, once we, are, we have all of the data, we're going to surface that in real time uh, in a notebook using a microservices. So let's look at uh, the different parts of the demo. Um, you can see here, let me explain what's happening in the demo. So what, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be collecting a whole bunch of weather data. So it's going to be a, a bunch of temperature and dew points and barometric pressure and all of these things from various weather stations uh, from two major cities, from New York and San Francisco. And with that data, we are going to be able to predict what is going to happen in the future, what's going to happen basically in the future days based on all the real-time data that we're ingesting. So you can see here that the Lightbend Fast Data Platform, which is the ACA Streams and the Kafka, is going to ingest all of this raw data from, uh, from the weather stations. We're going to uh, feed that into DB2 Event Store and uh, create a machine learning model via the DSX local interface and then feed that back into our model serving prediction engine and uh, replay that to come up with predictions on what's going to happen in the future. Uh, we, to display all this, we use a Grafana, uh, a Grafana user interface, which is just like an open source type of thing that displays for you all the different uh, data points that are being ingested and shows clearly what we're going to predict in the, in the coming future. The first thing uh, I'd like to talk about is we're going to look at the Lightbend Fast Data Platform. So what we have here is a, a killer weather app, by the way. That's the name of this demo. And the first thing you're going to see is the Fast Data Platform uh, DCOS in user interface. So this has a bunch of items that will show you uh, what's going on. And then we're going to move to the Fast Data Platform console. So you can see here all the different services that are installed. If I hover over one of those services, I can see what type of pod and even what the size of that service is with respect to some of the other things in those pods. Uh, I'm going to go back to the Enterprise DCOS dashboard, and I'm going to look at all the different services that are involved here. Uh, you can see the killer weather uh, things, the, the killer weather applications that are involved. I'm going to click on the nodes view, and I'm going to click on the components view to see all the different components that are involved, uh, that, that are contained within this DCOS container and what we're doing from a nodes perspective. So if I were to click on one of these host names, for example, and I wanted to see more details about that host name, I could click on that and see uh, the fourth node and get some more information about what's happening in that fourth node. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to start the Killer Weather Event Store service. So I'm going to go ahead and resume the Killer Weather event store service and I'm going to start the loader capability of, of this killer weather app. So I'm starting the killer weather loader service 
app, which uh, is basically doing all of the ingest from all the different weather stations um, and feeding that into, uh, we're going to eventually feed that into the DB2 event store database. So if I click on the killer weather event store service, I can see some of the more details like the task ID and the, the service, the node, the endpoints, etc. cetera. Um, and now I'm going to go into DB2 event store. So I'm going to click on uh, the database where the data is being ingested. So you can start to see here that data is is being ingested and you can see uh, at the top here the ingest rate is we're about two to three million uh, rows per second. That's how many data points we're ingesting per second and that's kind of ramping up as that uh, as the service that we started before starts to ramp up as well. Uh, you can see down at the bottom some of the aggregated ingest rate as well as the uh, shared storage rate. Uh, back to the top again, looking at the three different nodes. So this is a three node system for DB2 Event Store where we're capturing that information and uh, distributing it across the three different nodes. Um, you'll, you're also able to see a summary of some key things that are happening like memory and CPU, uh, IO wait time, etc. on the actual Docker container that's managed by Kubernetes. This is the DB2 Event Store uh, um, uh, a machine that you're looking at and what's actually happening on DB2 Event Store with respect to ingest and shared storage rates. So I'm going to let that run and we're going to now go into one of the notebooks here. So this is our weather, weather prediction model notebook that we've created here. So you can see here the notebook of what we're doing is we've created a, a DB2 Event Store connection. Uh, we're creating a, uh, preparing a data frame for the query if you look at some of the details here, you can see some of the uh, event store APIs that we're calling. So this is a you know a bunch of Spark APIs and things that we're calling, and we're able to predict kind of what's happening. So now let's go to our Grafana database, our Grafana user interface. So again, this is not part of the products, but this is just an easy way to visualize what exactly is happening. It, it can take in all the data points that we're ingesting in real time. And also in real time, it can show me what's happening with respect to uh, the predictions that's going to happen out for the next day or for the next few days. So you can see here at the top, we're ingesting the temperature and the pressure and the dew point and a whole bunch of other weather related data points we're ingesting into the system. In the, uh, in the middle box here, we're able to see the predicted temperature. And then you know, at the bottom, you can see the monthly aggregated temperature. So we're able to predict in, you know, based on all of the data that we're uh, ingesting from all the different weather events that are happening. Uh, you know, a, a lot of weather events, as we saw before, it, it's around two to three million events per second that we're ingesting. With that data, we can see in real time what is happening, uh, what is going to happen in the, in the next few days. So think about this, you know, we, we've used this weather prediction model, model, the killer weather app with, with Lightbend and, uh, and IBM to uh, predict weather components about what's going to happen in real time. But you can adapt this to many other industries as well, right? Think about real time use cases for uh, finance, uh, whether it be credit card uh, fraud detection or risk exposure in the stock market. Uh, you, can, uh, you, you can customize this for industry. So IoT type use cases. Uh, you can uh, customize this for retail. There's a lot of different avenues where, and a lot of different use cases where you can use this combined demo. So what we've shown today is the power of Lightbend Fast Data Platform plus DB2 Event Store plus DSX Local. Thank you very much.